Welcome to Let's Learn with Sherry G. Smart response assessments. You can get feedback from your students with just one question or a whole little assessment with multiple questions, and they can respond from any device they have in their hand that either has internet or is a smart response clicker. There's two little golden calculators or smart response uh, icons. One is up at the top. It hides and shows these two buttons, a start uh, question and insert a question. You can't start one until you've already inserted one. On the side, there's also a tab that has these instant questions as well. Um, there's yes, no, true, false, ABCD, text or numeric. And you can also import a whole test that you already have written. So inserting a question is super simple. You click on it, um, let's add it to a new page, there's the answer, and we can, I don't need an actual class to do this, we can start the question and off we go. It will pop up with a way for the students to join. They can go to this website on their laptop and type in the assessment ID or um, any phone or iPad or um, Chromebook, or you can show a QR code on the screen and they simply point their device at the screen and the assessment loads. Once you've got them in and started, it'll say no students have answered until people start answering them. So once I point my phone at it and answer the questions, you can see what the results would be. Let's stop this one and show you how to do a whole test instead of just one question. To do a whole uh, test, you import questions from a file and you can see that Word is one of the options here. If you have a Word document that looks like it has questions, yes, no, ABC, um, numeric questions in it, you can simply use that file and we just locate that file. Um, the one trick here is I know this file is on my desktop and it's not showing up. Where is it? Well, it's not actually a .doc Word document. It's a .docx, which is the new version of Word. And if I do that, then I can see my assessment and open it. What it's going to do is import a title page and a question page for each question in my book. So I'm going to have eight or nine pages um, created for me. Um, prior to this, there's only this page in the assessment. You get this little successful uh, complete when it's done, and you can see if you look at the pages in the file, all of your questions are listed after a title page, which you can edit in a little group here. When we go to the assessment here, we can start this assessment now. Students can join just like they did questions, and you can stop it when you're ready to um, look at the answers. I just hopped onto my phone and did this question as two different students. So now you can see as you page through, you could see um, both people like broccoli. One is sure, one is not sure. Um, there's some different numbers in here you can scroll through and see the answers and you can insert charts right into notebook. Of course, these charts don't mean anything if you have only two questions, two kids that answered the same uh, thing, but you can show different charts and um, you can insert them into notebook to look at the results of the questions as well. That is inserting questions and inserting tests. If you need to know how to get your student names in, watch the next video.